Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Python. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn the nested loop. In earlier session, we have seen how to use the loop like for loop in the Python. In today's tutorial, we are going to see what is nested loop and how to use it. The nested loops are required when a activity is performs or it perform a repetitive operation and that activity or that task itself must be repeated several times so in such case we need to use multiple times the loops it doesn't matter if it's a while loop or it's a for loop so whenever there is multiple repetitive operations are happening we need we need to use this for loop two, two or more than two times it's called as a nested loop if you see in the figure on the right hand side we see the outer loop so the outer loops it's it comes with the condition if the condition is true then the 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 logic will be executed inside that outer loop the outer loop body will be there and within that body the another loop will be there it's called as an inner loop inner loop will also have the condition if the condition is true then the body of inner loop will be executed if if the if the condition of the inner loop is false then the loop will be exited and it will go to the outer loop if there is nothing to execute in the outer loop the outer loop will be exited or if the outer loop condition itself is false then the outer loop is exited or there is no more execution will happen so this is the uh, the theoretical part then can we use this nested functionality and do something yes we can do that in real time there will be many scenarios but for today's um, tutorial let's assume that we are going to print this kind of uh, output so what it 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 is this example is nothing but it's a triangular using the asterisk sign you can use any sign or you can use alpha weight or you can use the number also there is no problem but what point what we are trying to do here is we are trying to make a triangle so the very first asterisk sign will be at the top and then the number will increase so first whenever such examples come whenever such a uh, pattern we see so there is a pattern like one then two then three and then four and it's so on so we can see there is a pattern going on we need to identify what pattern it is this is more kind of logical thing it's not related to the python or looping thing so we need to first understand what logic is going on so in order to illustrate that logic i have created one sample slide here so if you see in this screen we have to place a spaces before the very first asterisk signs I can see there are six spaces are required in the first line in the next line the five spaces the next line four spaces and the last line required three spaces of before the first asterisk sign so if you see this pattern or the reduction it's like six five four three so there is some logic is going on for example if you remember the mathematical formula 2 into n minus 2 it will return this kind of logic so suppose if I give the 4 as a input number and the formula is 2 into n minus 2 it will return first 6 then 5 then 4 and then 3 and so on so we will use that mathematical formula because that is what we identify here so I, I hope you got the pattern what we are trying to print and we'll let's have them on that in order to uh, demonstrate it um, let's get some input from user so how to create in uh, like we have to get some how many stars we want so like I will mention input star or input count I would get okay. or any you know, anything you can do I will just mention input number and I will get input from user mention here enter number of 
stars or asterisk whatever no problem so user will enter now once the user enters that number what we have to do is we have to use the formula so let's create formula formula equal to or instead of formula just give the generic name like x that should be fine x equal to 2 into the input number but we cannot just multiply input number because if you remember whenever the user enters any value it is converted as a string so even, even if it is a number so I will just convert that input value to integer and, will, and the formula is minus 2 so 2 into the input number minus 2 is the formula which we just saw in our earlier slide so we got this x number which is a uh, user is going to enter and once the user provide this value will convert into the formula now let's start our very first for loop that is outer loop the for loop will start like this suppose um, we are going to create a for loop for input value so we have to assign some variable I'll just mention like suppose I in and I will define the range of input number so that many stars I want that that's the reason I put my outer loop with that range okay so I got the output uh, the input from the user I'll create that range and then I'll start my inner loop in the inner loop I'll just create another variable you can name anything here and I'll create range of this x value which we just created using formula so what this range these are the nothing but the spaces we want going to append you can append underscore or hyphen but for our example we use spaces so what we need to do we have to just print the spaces how to print we have to just use this so we'll use one space so if the if user enters 3 here 3 into 2 is 6 6 minus 2 4 so 4 spaces will be printed here because that is what we doing iteration here and after this 4 spaces we need to print the asterisk sign so we have to write the logic for that for suppose k you can mention k for the next variable in range what we have to do we have to provide a range like x plus 1 because after this x suppose I printed four spaces after that I have to add one that is five sp five and then I have to print the asterisk here I have to like print the asterisk sign and I'll use extra space and I will end here with the no spaces now if you remember um, at this location the value of x is suppose 4 we have to assign this value by reducing by 1 we have to reduce this value by 1 so that the next time the value will be having the the next range means after four spaces the next value we are reducing to three and because and then on three plus one we are four because the four time iteration will happen on this right so this is what we did and once it is done but after eight iteration if you see in our example after each iteration we have to go to the next line so how to do that we will use one escape character very simple we have to use print again and the escape character is slash r so our program is ready let me have let me explain you what our programming is doing so we are getting the input from user then we got the formula by analyzing the pattern and the formula is 2 into n minus 2 
will get the input and will convert into the integer value and assign to uh, uh, and multiply to the 2 and it will give me the result min by minusing 2 and uh, will assign that result to the variable x then our outer loop will start here we can give any variable name we just mentioned i in the range of the input number so that that many stars we want to print so those many iteration or those many loops we have to execute after that we are writing the inner loop so this is the inner loop logic so in this what we are doing we are defining the range of the how many spaces we want to print and we are going to print that after that we'll reduce the the value of x the value of our formula by minus one and will will print the asterisk sign but for printing this asterisk sign we have to get the ac number actual number where we want to print so the range is suppose we have the f 4 or th oh, if you user is entering 3 the last range will be the 3 we are adding 3 plus 1 and at the fourth location we will be printing this asterisk sign and will be ending with the uh, the empty space after that we have to print the output every time on the next line so we have to use this print statement so what I'll do let's try to execute and we will see if it works fine so it is asking me to enter the number so let's enter 4 and I can get the output like 1 as x sign then 2 then 3 and then 4 let's run again and enter the different suppose let's enter 8 and I can get the output with the 8 number like you can see the 8 asterisks are printed if you want to print more so let's execute one more time I'll see 10 so I can see the 10 asterisk signs are printed if you do not like this space or if you want to replace space with any other letter just use uh, that word uh, that character and that character will be prefix so it's very simple very easy you have to just write the two loops so in this example what what we say is we use two loops one is outer loop and one is inner loop rather in this case we use two inner loops so I'll just comment it I'll just mention here outer loop and here it is inner loop one you can use as many as loops there is no restriction inner loop one and there is other inner loop and that is required for our business logic so I'll just execute and we'll get the output as expected I hope this simple tutorial uh, will help you to understand how to use the nested loop and for nested loop we are doing the it is helpful if you have the multiple activities are happening re repetitively within the your main activity so such kind of activities can be looped at using the nested loop and we just saw using nested loop how can we print the triangular functionality using asterisk sign thank you for watching this video if you have any questions or queries about python you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video do not forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting update about python thank you again have a nice time